Since the founding of our Corps in 1775, Navy chaplains have stood for the free exercise of religion for all in the Naval Service. This right, guarded in the First Amendment, is among the rights that we hold most dear as Americans. From our first commissioned chaplain, William Balch, aboard the frigate Chesapeake in 1799, to Chaplain Colden Cooper aboard the USS Constitution, to Chaplain David Adams aboard the Franklin in the War of 1812, chaplains have worked to meet the religious needs of our people and to help our people, both at sea and ashore, to develop the spiritual resilience to cope with the inevitable hardships of military life. We've walked with our people through the darkest valleys, even the valley of the shadow of death itself. Chaplains like Thomas Kirkpatrick and Aloysius Schmidt aboard the Arizona in the Oklahoma in the waters of Pearl Harbor on that fateful day. In giving that last full measure of devotion and sacrificing their own lives, these chaplains demonstrated their profound commitment to the wounded and the dying. Chaplains like Vincent Capadano and Stan Beach and many others ministered to the Marines in the jungles of Vietnam. Chaplain Eli Takesian brought hope and comfort and encouragement to his Marines during the Battle of Hue City. And this year marked the 30th anniversary of the bombing of the Marine barracks in Beirut. During this time, chaplains Danny Wheeler, George Pucciarelli, and Arne Reznikov exemplified the spirit of cooperation as together they cared for the Marines and sailors in the aftermath of this devastating attack. As we gather to reflect on our rich heritage, this year marks another significant milestone for our Corps, the 40th anniversary for women in military chaplaincy. As you know, the Navy was in fact the first in the Department of Defense to commission a female chaplain, Lieutenant Junior Grade Diana Pullman. The path forged by her and by other pioneering women has endured and we're better for it. As we celebrate our past, we also celebrate our present work. Our Navy chaplains and RPs continue to serve on a broad range of platforms for ministry. From the flight decks of carriers in the Pacific, to forward operating bases in Afghanistan, to the bridges of Coast Guard cutters protecting our waterways, you provide an invaluable ministry of presence to our people, helping them to be ever ready for the missions before them. As you know so well, we are still a nation at war. While the drawdown in Afghanistan continues, dangers and challenges persist. Our chaplains and RPs remain forward deployed around the world, supporting those in harm's way. Our pastoral calling remains vital to our people as they cope with the realities and the effects of multiple deployments and combat tours. As chaplains, we can never lose sight of our ability to offer that confidential space, that sanctuary, where our people can regain a sense of wholeness and hope. We must continue to guard and protect the sacred trust that's been placed in us. This last year has presented tremendous fiscal challenges and uncertainty for all of us, from significant budget cuts across the Department of Defense to the federal government shutdown and the furlough of our Navy and Marine Corps and Coast Guard civilians. With so much outside of our control, chaplains still embody the reassuring presence of God, a God who, in the words of the psalmist, is a very present help in times of trouble. Where shall I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. For 238 years, we've answered the call to serve, and we've had the privilege to minister to our sailors, our Marines, our Coast Guardsmen, and their families. Each one of you brings your own unique gifts and talents as we fulfill our calling to ministry and to service, 
relying on God's grace and leading. Whether active or reserved, regardless of the type of uniform we're wearing, we are truly one chaplain corps, unified by one mission, answering the call to serve. Chaplain Kibben, Chaplain Guard, and I are honored to serve alongside of you. May God continue to bless you as you carry out the sacred duty of serving our people. Happy anniversary, chaplains.